All right, so my friends, welcome to Q for Charity, the best damn charity event of the year. The highlight of my Magic Calendar in a lot of ways, content-wise. You can see over here on the scoreboard. Uh, it started last night, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a 48-hour event. Trying to get the most trophies, but I'm a morning guy. I'm not a night guy. So uh, we got 37 hours left. You can see Arya's already killing it. Uh, three trophies on the scoreboard. And uh, you can see all the players here. Uh, my team is Team Card Hoarder. Uh, we're sponsored by Card Hoarder. Myself, Cedric Phillips, Arya, and Reed. And then Team Jbro, the enemy. It's our fourth year. I've lost all three times so far. Jbro's got Caleb the MTG, Gabe Nassif, and Mebo. And uh, quite a squad on both sides. They're playing for Team Mana Traders. So Mana Traders and Card Hoarder have sponsored us. They're each donating $1,000 to our team's charity. However, there are stakes. The losing team, each player must donate $100 to the opposing team's charity, and the opposing team sponsor must donate $1,000 to that charity. So that's the rules. You can play as many times as you want. Uh, you can drop when you're 01, and uh, only other rules are the tiebreaker is going to be uh, trophy win percent. So less drafts, basically, to a trophy uh, is the tiebreaker. That's basically it. Vintage Cube drafts nonstop for the next 37 hours, and uh, it's going to be a great time. It's a very, very fun event. Again, we're supporting Trans Lifeline, which is awesome. They're supporting Doctors Without Borders. Please use the QR code to uh, to download it, to, to, to give me a little uh, a little donation and stuff like that. You see the board in the bottom. Our goal is $20,000 for each team this year. Last year, we raised about $30,000 combined, about 15 each. This year, I want to do 20 each. So, get those donations going. Let's get this draft going, and here we go. No power. That's okay, though. What do we got? We got a pack here. We got a kind of an unexciting pack. On. It's a lot of, like, mid-level cards. Um, iterations, obviously, great. Brain Freeze. A couple okay Planeswalkers. Magda. Uh, we're just going to fetch land here. Nothing in this pack is particularly exciting enough for me to want to, uh, to jump into anything, so we'll take the fetch land super open. Uh, Tiebreaker should be a pod draft. I wish. We've actually tried to contact Wizards the last two years. Uh, to see if we can do that to close out the event. Uh, but no luck so far. No luck so far. So we'll see. I would like that. So no power. So they, can, so they, can, they can fetch line here. Staying super open. There's no single card in this pack that jumps out at me as a card powerful enough to want to first pick over a fetch land. Uh, just nothing really jumps out. Let's take a fetch line, keep it open, and uh, and go from there and see what we get past. All right. Eternal Witness, Hex Mage, Dig Through Time, Brazen Borrower, a Phenomancer, Skyclave, Tundra. Mono this from nothing again. I kind of an interesting bag again, honestly. Magda is good. I do like Magda a lot. I think it's like there's a lot of non-interactive uh, decks in the cube. So Magda is a pretty cool card, but a few choices here. Signets are obviously always good, but this is a pretty odd color for a signet. Probably the probably the worst signet, I would think, right? The Slesnia signet. Uh white and green. I guess maybe green's a pretty good rampy color, but there's a tundra also. Which is uh, a little less open than a Marsh Flats is, but still kind of cool. Holidays are good. Nice and quiet holidays. It was nice. So I think it's like Signet or Tundra here. Again, no single card here jumps out at me as a card I want to commit into. Um, Sonic with the donation. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Um, I'm not a Tundra. Eh. I'm not a Signet, actually. I'm going to the Signet. Night of the Relic Quarry, Armageddon. Hollowed Fountain, Lotus Bloom, Woodfall Primus, Exhume, Fire Blast. Uh, I mean, Night Geddon's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool one. Yes, Cassian's first Christmas was great. Another kind of middling back, honestly. Really, uh, nothing super directional at the moment. Um, does Knight Table try to take Armageddon and then Table the Knight and be like a nice land destruction-y deck? Um, thanks, Yogi. Glorybringer is pretty unexciting. Anyway, this is Vintage Cube, folks. The decks are really, really powerful. So, I think taking Armageddon, though, and trying to wheel Knight's not crazy. I think taking Brother Rune is also pretty reasonable, too. Um, maybe we'll take Mommy? Yeah, I'll take Mommy. Kind of like getting there, but... All right, we got Vindicate, uh, Blood Chief Thirst, Hearse, Olivia, Hazard, Oblivion Ring. I guess Vindicate's, like, fine. Uh, a lot of middling packs. Just kind of, like, mid-level cards. Yeah, I'm a little sad to take the Geddon, honestly, but... I'm going to take Vindicate. Vindicated! 
I am selfish. I am wrong. Oh, there we go. Samantha, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Always take the stone rain. Um, Bayou, scavenging use, Orzov, Signet. Hmm. Looking kind of mid rangey so far. I mean, Orzov, Signet, and Mother of Ruins don't really jive super well. Um, you know, Eidolon, and no other red cards. Canyon. Kind of a rough draft, honestly, to start. Rough first start here. Grave Titan, Bane Slayer. I'm going to take Signet. I was pretty reasonable too, but Signet's on. Go take Signet. All right, Fatal Push. Arnak is looking very fair at the moment, which I don't particularly like that much. Very, very fair. Um, I think taking the duel there is totally reasonable, honestly. But Whisperwood Elemental Land Tax. I mean, Fatal Push is like fine. Uh, Lotus Petals not super exciting. Yuckle hops. Whisperwood Elemental. Just like take Fatal Push, I guess. And not really be happy about it. Nahiri. Nahiri's a good card to build towards, honestly. Good like mid rangey Planeswalker, but it's also a good win condition if you can find, if you can find Emrakul or some Eldrazi. Kind of like that, actually. Um, otherwise, a couple other Planeswalkers or whatever. Courtyard. Recruiter. I'll take Nahiri. Nahiri, uh, Dark Confidant. A little Bobby. Wooded Foothills might be off color. Yeah, I'm cool with Bobby here. All right. So maybe like sort of like Rocky uh, Nahiri deck. I like to rest here. So we're going Disruption. It's either do broken stuff or stop your opponent from doing broken stuff. We're going to be the stop the opponent from doing broken stuff. Uh, lane so sound clearing is fine the knight does table but obviously we were looking for the armageddon also golos tables but we don't really need golos in our deck honestly grief's kind of interesting uh i don't need grief I think grief uh top or overgrown tomb we have no green cards yet but we have one green source and a fetch land top is good with uh, dark confidant obviously um I'm probably trying to splash red, not green. Yeah, I'm going to take the top. A Chupacabra. Probably won't start Chupacabra, but... Ooh, last bit courtyard. Cool, all right. All right, cool. Open up History of Benalia. There's Emrakul. Did it! So now we have uh, Nahiri plus Emrakul, which is a pretty sick uh, one-two punch. We're passing Harvester, Lightning Bolt, uh, a couple of cards, him to Torok, but... We can live with that. Um, our Mother Ruin's not very good here, but that's fine. Just slam the Emrakul. Uh, we got Fury, more Signets, Wall of Omens, Recurring Nightmare, Braids. Anonymous, thank you. Um, hmm. I don't think really Fury. A Tide Hollow Scholar. Yeah, the, the Scholar was able, though. I actually have one of these Signets, honestly. Red, white Signet, probably. Maybe black red actually, because we have double black. Yeah, we're a little more black than white, honestly. So we're more of a, this mother is not very good deck, honestly. We're a little more of a mid-range deck. We're not really a braids deck. Uh, as much as I love braids. Um Yeah, recurring nightmare. Okay. So Signet. Do you play against your pod? Nope. There's leaks. Alright, you got a first trophy of the Tangle Wire deck. Sweet. Alright, it's the best. Fable the Mirror Breaker, Minx can boo mind twist. Oh no, I'd love this fable. I would love this fable. We gotta take mind twist here. Mind just three signets, so like that. I guess uh, I guess Emrakul Dark Confidant's a little sketch, but yes, you loot Emrakul with Nahiri. That's, that's why Nahiri, Nahiri Emrakul is great. Uh, very, very powerful combo. I'll see if we're playing Dark Confidant in this deck. Maybe we're not, actually, but I don't think it's crazy, honestly. All right, take Mind Twist. Uh, Spirit Clamp, looting Aurelia the War Leader, Winds of Abandon. Um. Great is at any cost, right? So that's correct. Not, not, not up to 15, uh, any cost. Um, this pack's pretty bad. We could end up like being like a reanimator deck, honestly. Not that that works never cool, but looting. Everything else here is pretty bad. White's not very open, honestly. So that's kind of fine. We can just be like black, kind of splashing white and, and red. Take the looting. 
Season Pyromancer, Stone Forge Mystic, Crater Hoof, Karn Sign of Urza. Karn's actually pretty good, honestly, with uh, a lot of Signets and stuff. It's a little fair, but what is this card? When ETBs become the Monarch, become the Monarch, sacrifice a creature. Is that card good? I don't know what this Monarch stuff does. Um, Karn or Pyromancer? Hmm. I think I like Karn. Cameron, her and I, her and I could not as a sorcerer's beat, unfortunately. I'm gonna Karn. I really want a thought seize. That's what I really want. Some more, uh, some more interactions. Marsh Flats. Let's take Foundry for our Marsh Flats. And our mana's pretty good. Gruel Signet, Corpse Dance, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, Murktide Region, Arcane Proxy. All these cards are pretty iffy. I mean, Through the Breach Ember Cool is obviously pretty good, but like, you have to like draw the Ember Cool, but I think it's like a fine card to take here because if we find, find a tutor or two, it's a pretty cool, cool place to be. So I think I like that. Corpse Dance can also bring back Ember Cool, but that's a little harder to pull off. Uh, so. Hellrider, Emery, Croxa, Balance. Uh, I think this is a pretty good balance deck. Honestly. Croxa, Croxa's like, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty, I think it's good. We have like almost no creatures. I think we're not playing with some other runes, but that's fine though. Blightsteel Colossus also works with both uh, Nahiri and Emrakul. Also Blood Scythe Harvester though. Harvester's pretty good. Um... Not that we really need Harvester, though, I guess, because we uh, uh, we don't necessarily want to play Creatures with Balance, and we are playing this big stuff. Take Blightsteel. Uh, Wall of Omens, Light Up a Stage, Tide Hollow, Sculler. Sculler's fine. Sculler's almost, almost more of a sideboard card, but it's funny because the, the Wall is... Uh, like, Wall and Sculler are both like sideboard cards for the exact opposite matchups. Um... I think I want the help against the unfair deck. Espion stage. Temporary lockdown's not a bad, not a bad cyborg card. It's a little awkward against... Uh, actually, no, we have always Signets. I'm going to take the Soulfire Grandmaster. Soulfire's just fine. Aurelia the War Leader. I mean, I guess... We're not playing that card, but... Kolga. Knight of Autumn. Murktide. All right, pack three. Let's open some power, please. Cube for freaking charity. I would say I would like to not play Mother of Runes and probably not play Dark Confidant or any of, our, any of these early creatures, honestly. Um, this pack stinks, unfortunately. Um, not a very, not a very good pack, not very good pack opens for us. But I mean, Daredevil's okay. Cathar Commando. Rishan Import's not great in our three color deck. Workshop's not really great either. We're not really playing enough artifacts for Workshop. This pack's just absolutely awful for us. Um, just awful. Port's fine. I mean, like, I like Port, but we're like a three color y deck. I guess we're playing on Signets and stuff. This pack's bad. This pack is bad. Uh, there's, like, there's, like, there's like no like high roll pick either, like some like card we can just speculate on. Uh, I think Port's fine. Like, our, our, our colored mana symbols are pretty easy, honestly. But like I don't even know what else. If it's not port, then what is it? You know, we only have three seconds for workshop, but that's not good enough. I'm gonna take port. Uh, all right. There's mana vault. Uh, mana vault is pretty good. We can cast Nahiri or Karn pretty fast or Mind Twist. Mana vault's not great in our deck, but it is pretty good. Uh, it's also a Vamp Tutor, though. Vamp Tutor getting through the Breach or Emrakul is pretty good. Uh, it might be Vamp over Mana Vault, honestly. We're not really a great Mana Vault deck. Like, it's literally just like Karn, Nahiri, Mind Twist. Everything else is just like, whatever. And Vamp is pretty important as far as setting up our Through the Breaches. Yeah, I'm going to stick Vamp Tutor. Alright, we got Vamp. Uh, nice Badlands here. Uh, animate Dead doesn't really work for us as both of our cards don't animate. 
Wouldn't mind a sneak attack either. Pretty good. Daily is just pretty good too. We have balance, I think. So, uh, burst light on the edge of the land here. Pretty easy land. Uh, there's Ephemerate for grief, but that's like not even that good, I don't think. Um, Passing Flames, Shield Breaker. Um, Luris, not very good. Ephemerate doesn't really do that much. All right, that was good with grief. Basically, just grief. Well, we don't have a last hopes. Like, it doesn't really do anything for us, you know. Uh, I mean, Azoria Signet's an off-color Signet, but Shieldbreaker is honestly fine too. Metamorph. Pretty bad pack for us. Um, I don't hate Shieldbreaker, honestly. It's just like a thing that blocks and can kill Mox. Everything else here is pretty mopey. Might not play it, but Duretti. Duretti is actually really good. Uh, it's also a Delta. A yeah, Wandering Emperor, which is also pretty good. Worn Power Stone's not really us. Yeah, it's like Duretti or Wandering Emperor here. An Emperor seems a little bit hard to uh a little bit hard to cast. I like Duretti. Duretti's very good. Duretti's just like makes uh makes blockers, can kill things. It's cheap. Yeah, double white seems a little tough for us, so take the ready. Archon of Cruelty. I mean, that's a really good card to Nahiri or Through the Breach. The question is, how many of those cards do I want? Also, Shallow Grave, uh, which works with the uh, Emrakul, not with Blightsteel Colossus, though. Um, so it comes down to Shallow Grave or Archon. Shallow Grave might table, Archon will definitely not, so I'm taking the Archon. Uh, Knight's Whisper. Lorraine of a Third Patch is a good card. Honestly, this card is like super fine. I guess it is. Yeah, it's. Knight's Whisper is also pretty good, though. We're probably not playing Miss Dark Confidant, so get that out of there. Get Soulfire out of there. I think Skellers want a sideboard card. I don't think Mother is very good here either, so. Now we're at like 20 ish playables. Loran, very main deckable. Obviously, killing artifacts and enchantments is great. Uh, Whisper is also pretty good, though. I don't even need Whisper, though. Let's take Loran. Brainstorm Tendrils, Karmic Guide, Braids, Arisen Nightmare. This Vantage. Yeah, Karmic Guide's, like, not really doing what we want it to do. We only have one thing that can actually reanimate, so... Take the Vantage. Back to this awful opening pack. I mean, like, Daredevil's, like, an okay card. Um, not the worst, but... There's a Lightning Helix. Um, that's, like, fine. It's not exciting in our deck, but it's certainly okay. Steel Seraph is not really where we're at. Uh, everything else here sucks. Yeah, sure. Helix, uh, Grist, Scrounger, Lion Sash, uh, Inspector is back. I mean, Inspector's like obviously fine. Uh, everything else is kind of eh. Oh! Taiga, Power Stone, Reclaimer. We're not really a Power Stone deck, but sure. Shallow Grave came back. Okay. Now, the problem with Shallow Grave is I only have. Actually, I'm sorry. I can looting, or I can actually Nahiri discard and then Shallow Grave at instant speed, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we'll see. First deck looks pretty good. Some powerful stuff going on. Here's the thing, folks. Cube for freaking charity. What is up, my friends? My first draft to Cube for charity. First. Oh, last pick, Knight's Whisper. Oh, I love that. That's great in our deck. That's great. All right, so let's take a look here. And I'll top on over to our other scene. There we go. Um, got my nice little fireplace behind me. I like that. Keep me nice and toasty warm. Take these lands out and take a look at what we got here. We got things off the screen. Our mana curve so high. 26. Uh, no Daredevil. I think no Shieldbreaker either, honestly. We already have Loran, so this is 24. I'm pretty happy with this. So we have uh, only one Duress for like, a, for like a, a discard outlet. We have Duress and Grief. Um... We've got Balance, Helix, Fatal Push, Vindicate, Loran for some interaction, some Planeswalkers, some Signets. I guess our top isn't that good because we're uh, not playing Bob anymore. It's like fine, but um, we have good sideboard cards too, like Skeller, Soulfire, uh, Daredevil. 
Dark Confidant's the nut. I wish I was playing Dark Confidant. Chupacabra, Shieldbreaker. Um, I guess top's fine. What do you have? One fetch land? Two fetch lands? I only have one fetch land. Clearing. Port. Are we playing the port? I'm not sure. I think so. Right now we're on 16 lands. Uh, what's up, Diablo? Through the breach. Balance Knight's Whisper, Triple Signet, um, Inspector, Loran, Grief. It's like red, 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 white. So mostly black. My, my pleasure, Agenda. Happy you got a good... Yeah, we'll play, we'll play 16 lands here with a fort, I think. Um, our mana base is pretty good. Uh, I don't think we're going to main any of these cards. Yeah, this is good. I'm pretty happy with this. I feel like the 3 minute Inspector could probably go if we wanted to like push it and play 17 lands. 17 lands, 17 lands a lot, honestly, though. Um, <laughs> that's great. That's great, Sonic. Yeah, the, the small text is pretty tough on the emotes. It's really, really small. It's hard to get more than like three or four letters across. Um, okay. Big question here is, are we playing Inspector or are we playing 17 lands? Obviously, Port's pretty good. As far as, like, looting effects go, we have we have looting, obviously. We have Nahiri. Uh, we have Top. There's a few ways to kind of, like, sift through. Um, yeah, Splashing Inspector seems a little sketch, honestly. So maybe we just cut the Inspector and just play... I, I agree. The packs are kind of underwhelming, and I'm pretty happy that we have a you know a reasonably powerful deck, which is good. So we're black, splashing red and white. I think that's basically the thing. And our, our splashes are good. And then we have our only creature that's not a bigger a, a big boomer is Loran and Grief. So our, our shallow grave should be pretty pretty good. So this is so funny. Like I can't even sort it because all the cards cost so much. Um, red. All right. So let's go here. And here, play port. Uh, red, white, red, white, black, white, black, white. That's that. So flats gets anything. Um, probably just like, I don't know, five. We have, we actually have a lot of white in our, uh, in our basics here. Only have four red cards too. What is this? This is, Need to add one more land on this. This is a swamp, I guess. It's a lot of swamps. More slat, Rashad, and Port. No, I think that this, this signet's fine. Even though it's off color, it's just still like a signet. I just cast Nahiri or Karn on turn three. I want to add a car, a spell, I think. Uh, I think 17 lands is too many. With all these signets and the tops and the lootings and everything, we have plenty of stuff to do. Um, Scholar, land tax. Power Stone's not very good. I mean, Daredevil's, like, okay. It's, like, very high variance. so like, could be good, might not be good. It, it is a decent blocker, though, honestly. Um, Shieldbreaker's also just, like, fine. Uh, you know, solid if unexciting. Um, eh, I'm just gonna add a line. Chupacabra. Chupacabra's pretty weak. Uh, I'll say a swamp. All right, that's our deck. All right, first deck. There it is. And uh, prediction time. Let's get a prediction going here and see if we can uh, get a little excitement popping. How do I make the uh, things pop out? I'll make it work in one second. All right, prediction time. Place your bets. Oh, no, J Bro. J Bro got a trophy. How's the volume on that? Was it too loud? J Bro got a trophy. It's 4 4 now. Took him long enough. What do you think, folks? 3 0? Trophy, yay or nay? What do you think? Place your bets. YouTube folks, take a second, pause the video, scroll to comments. All caps, believer or non believer? Stu, what's up? What's up, doggo? It was good? All right. It was very, very heart wrenching. It was like, ah, oh, no, a trophy. All right. We got a lot of non believers here. That's pretty even, actually. Where are the opponents at? Where are the opponents at? All right, there we go. 
prediction time. Place your bets. Just one second here to get this uh, set up. All right, let's roll. Uh, we are on the draw. Opponent ball again to six. Our hand is not great, but keepable. We have uh, Marsh Flats for looting. Fix our hand up. Signet, Duretti. Retrofitter Foundry. Cool card. A lot better than it looks. Swap. All right, we're sure I guess looting here. Let's get our Sacred Foundry. The deck's bad? Thanks, appreciate that. It's not that bad. It's not great, but it's fine. I think for uh, for a deck that opened no power, I think our deck's totally fine. Cast looting. Jeez, so many lands. All right. Uh, not cool, but... Worry about our aggro matchup. We have balanced lightning helix. We also have good blocker, you know, sideboarded blockers too. So our sideboard's pretty good for stuff like that. Most concerning here is we're just drawing ten lands, but Rakdos signet, sure. All right, and Bl Blightsteel Colossus, sure. So Blightsteel does not work with uh, Shallow Grave. Blightsteel has a replacement effect that shuffles it in, unlike Emrakul and the Eldrazi, which have a triggered matchup. All right, here we go. We got Duretti next turn. Good little source of shatters and uh, and creature kill. They're just sitting back on their foundry. Sure. Courtyard. Sure. Also fine. All right, so a somewhat uh, unassuming start for both players, but... If you want to be a good vintage cube drafter, you're going to be able to win the games you don't get power, you know? All right, add that, add this. We had a pretty big, uh, pretty big swing here. It's uh, <laughs> I only have three lands in play, right? So, I don't keep it tap for some reason. A um, lot of believers actually. Uh, more more channel points on non-believer, but a lot of believers overall. So that's pretty fun. All right, tapping four. For walking ballista on two. Sure. Gonna shoot my construct. Sure. That's fine, honestly. Attack is ready for one. Sure. So we need to draw like something useful. Uh huh. Duray's just hanging out doing stuff. Archon of Cruelty. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Alright, so we're gonna flashback looting and then, uh, then Archon of Cruelty. Let's go land. Shallow freaking grave, folks. Looting. Grief Mind Twist. There's only two cards in there. I'm just going to Mind Twist. Uh, let's grab Mind Twist Archon. We're, gonna, we're, we're about to Mind Twist them anyway, so discard these two. Let's do this. Oh, let's go. Vintage Cube. Come on now, Archon of Cruelty. Get ya. Sack the Ballista. Draw through the Breach? <laughs> Attack with Archon. Oh, nope, that works too, I guess. Can't Blightsteal. Blightsteal shuffles back in. Works with Emrakul, because Emrakul's trigger, but Blightsteal's not a trigger, so. Alright, uh, so we didn't see much, honestly. We saw some artifacts. I'm gonna bring in the, uh, the shield breaker. I'm gonna kind of land him a draw. Uh, 17 might be too many anyway. So, um, and then uh, Grandmaster, Sculler, Inspector. I don't have, I don't have one of those. I, we didn't really see much. So, freaking shield breaker. Call it that. Opponent, come back. I was just starting to have some fun. I was having a great time. That was gross. Love it. This hand's not great, but we're going to keep it. Put a ball against six again. I'm going to keep. I'm good. Let's do broken stop. Vintage cube. Let's turn two healers. Turn three to ready. Turn four uh, Nahiri. Nahiri's cool because, like, we're obviously, like, a somewhat broken deck, but Nahiri's, like, a reasonable fair card that also does a broken thing, too. That's the line I was going to fetch. <laughs> All right. Sure. 
I have, uh... I don't have my deck list thing. I gotta do those manually. It's gross. I might just not do that. Blood Tide Harvester. Okay. So if they're playing fair shit, it's fine. If this blood token is meant to be a, a reanimation outlet, that could be a problem, but I'm just gonna kill this right now. Don't go uh, discard Grizzle Brand Reanimate, please. We have to ready into Nahiri. So as long as their hand is kind of somewhat fair, I think our hand's really, really good. Oh, God. Discarding Mere Battle Sphere? That's not good. I think we're dead, folks. Might be going to game three. No? Oh, so lucky for us. So lucky. Vantage, too. Look at these lands. Derete. Derete Spaghetti. Mom's to ready. Zow! Thanks for the donation. Appreciate that. We're already at $1,800. That's great. Remember, folks, our goal is 20000 this year. Last year, the goal was fifteen, and we hit it. This year, we're going up a little bit. Team Card Hoarder, my team's goal is 20000 and then J-Bro's team is also 20000 So 40000 total. Uh-oh. Mana Crypt. The good news is that if they bounce so you're not going to at least kill it to ready. Ooh. Custody Lich. So this ETBs, they become the Monarch, and I sacrifice a creature. All right. Let's, like, draw... Right, I guess... I guess, uh... All right. Yeah, I mean, the Monarch's pretty annoying, sure. So we have a personal Hollymon. So untap and draw land. All right. I mean, not ideal, but sure. We'll make a defender. We'll play a lamb to fetching and, and any duels left? No, just get a swamp. Alright. Just play Nahiri. Uh we're gonna loot. It's funny, like, I actually don't want to loot the Emercool. Because if I draw through the Breacher Shallow Grave, I want to keep that in my hand. So we'll discard the planes and draw a Signet. Sure. Um any, any, any initiative cards? I honestly don't know. I don't think so. But kind of hope not. I don't know what those cards do. I don't really want to, we want to learn. So, all right. So, uh, Mana Crypt won the flip. Not cool. Custody Lich. Camera Golf Free Sub, thanks so much. What's up, Leggings? That scoreboard look. Anything exciting going on? Nothing too exciting. Whenever a player's 2-0, it pops up. And then if, if the if the unthinkable happens and we get a team matchup, uh, Infernal Rasp, kill my thing, then things go wild. The little animation goes off. It's really, really cool. All right, so we're going to have my Nahiri here, I guess. I can play Sigmund Sack again, kill, the, kill the, Lich, the Lich, but like the problem is that I can't stop the Monarch stuff right now. All right, let's just draw through the Breach, please. Through the Breach or Shallow Grave, please. Their own Duretti, Mom Spaghetti. All right. They're going to Battle Sphere. That's bad. What are they saying? Oh, Mana Crypt. Ah, that's a problem. All right. Uh, this guy be something good. Fatal Push is not so good. Let's loot away a land. I think we're dead here. We draw Vindicate. Uh, all right. I guess, like... We like play Signet, sack it to kill Battle Sphere, and then vindicate the Lich. Problem is we can't save our, our Nahiri anymore, so I think we're in some doo doo. Um, actually, we can, we can, we can Fatal Push Token. <laughs> uh, all right, this game's getting a little ugly. I'm not gonna lie, but all right, so Signet. Oh, I tapped the. I'm an idiot. I tap wrong. Whatever. I need I need a black. Uh, sure. I mean, fatal pushing, fatal pushing a token sucks anyway, so. Um, they just get it back anyway, right? They have to ready. Yeah, we're, we're pretty screwed, I think. Probably going to the next game. This hand was pretty bad, honestly, so. Zodiac, thanks so much. Lousy Magic Online Auto Tapper. Yeah, I mean, obviously this game, they were, they were the Monarch on turn three. I mean, they, they got back their Battlesphere. So, like, this game has not gone super well for us. But 
What's up, Don? My pleasure, my pleasure, my friend. Uh, sure. It's auto tapper. It's always auto tapper. Why is my chair like slipping a little bit? Oh my god, I'm falling. Oh god. Oh god. We're down. Man down. too far forward on holy heat too man it sure is easy to draw good when you draw two cards a turn huh the breach vampiric tutor all right i mean we can breach next turn it's like, gotta be good anymore though i almost fell into the fireplace the danger the danger i go through for q for charity for all you fine folks all right so let's see what um We also get the monarch too if we uh if we ever cool them. Yeah, they just, so they just like sack sack and get back battle sphere. It's pretty gross. Lotus petal. All right. D, what's up? Thanks for the resub. I need danger pay. Battle sphere. I mean, we could like balance here, but it doesn't really do anything. Like so, let's take a look. The problem is that if I even if I get a. Uh, I guess Archon's not the worst, right? I'm sorry, never mind. I'm, I'm, I need to get through the Breach, obviously. So, it's through the Breach or Balance. And Balance doesn't really do much, honestly. We threw the Breach, deal the initiative. We might have attacked already, honestly. They sacrifice six permanents, like, that's not that good. But, I, but I, at, least, like, at least I get the Monarch for a turn, I draw a card. Yeah, that's probably it. It's, like, not very good, but... Not happy about it. Balance removes everything, but they just, like... And, like, we sacrifice the land, and they just, like, have Battle Sphere in two turns anyway. So, like, you know, it doesn't really do... It's, it's not a play to win the game. It's a play to, like, lose the game more slowly. So... Alright, let's see what, uh... What we can do here. So, this is, like, you know... A large part of a board wipe. Do I have any burn in my deck? I already cast the Helix. Uh, I don't have much else for burn, right? I don't think I do. Do I kill Duretti? Well, no. If I, if I attack Duretti, I just sacrifice it. So I'll just attack them. Whatever. Attack you. Now there's six. I also want to get the Monarch, too. They sack lands. They have lethal. Hey. What am I going to do? You know, like... Not they're not second lands here. So put them to three. Draw off the monarch. Draw looting. That shuffles some stuff back in. Okay. I mean now I could like I could mize a uh I could mize Emercool or uh Archon off the looting and then also a shallow grave and the, the helix got shuffled shuff back in too actually we have a lot, a lot of outs here actually because the helix are back in too so now i have looting for helix or a combo draw of shallow grave that's not bad we got outs anonymous thanks so much appreciate it this card push monolith all right here we go we got outs my kingdom for a lightning helix First draw, Duretti. All right, here it is. Um, I don't think we have any outs anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any outs anymore. I guess that has to be exactly. Nah, I don't think we have any outs. Yeah, alright. Alright, that's right, stuff. That's fine. That wasn't a great draw for us, and they had a turn three Monarch thing on the play, so it's fine. Uh, game three, anything change? We don't really have any Graveyard Hate. Oh, I'm sorry, we have Lightning Lion Sash. I'm bringing Lion Sash over. Maybe Fatal Push. 
Yeah, I like that. I don't have a million sources for Lion Stash either, but like, you know, it's something. What's up, Shake? No worries, my friend. We just started. We're good. All right, on the play. Shallow Grave, Emrakul, Vamp Tutor. Uh, yeah, keep. <laughs> we just vamp for looting. Turn turn one, vamp for looting. Turn two, Signet. Turn three, looting, Shallow Grave. Works for me. As long as I play a land in my main phase, you know? Mountain. Mana Crypt. Monolith. Jesus. Take it easy. Alright, so we're getting looting here, right? They have a way to shatter my signet, we're in big trouble, but I'm gonna do, you know? Just like, you know, three, four, five, so just seven mana on turn three, no problem. All right, this is it, folks. Turn three, Emrakul. Don't kill my shit. Warm Coil Engine, sure. That's honestly pretty good against Emrakul. I still got two tokens left over, but I, I have the, the Shield Breaker also, so. Untap, Marsh Flats. Uh, and we just uh, looting Shallow Grave, right? We're gonna have one mana floating. Uh, no full control necessary. Not playing Arena. Yeah, we should play looting. Discard Embercool and something, and then Shallow Grave it back. Yeah. Shatter the engine first. I could actually do that. You're right. I, I like that. That's, that's a better. That's a better play. Good catch, Sonic. Good catch. We can just uh, Shield Breaker first. Let's get a. Uh, Sacred Foundry. And what's... Battle Display. Who's that? Seasted, thanks so much. Maybe it's like six permanents too. This is dope. This is so much better. So much better. Let's go. Alright, looting. Discarding Emrakul. Planes. Trigger on the stack shallow grave how many permits you got how many i'm sorry how many is it six six permanents that still only counts as one. <laughs> okay, all right you're five and i have rashad port and vindicate so, we just play Shieldbreaker and, and port them. We drew Nahiri? Nah, we just like try and kill them, I think. So we just play Shieldbreaker and then port them. Shieldbreaker going all the way here. Coast to coast. Nahiri and Emrakul, there it is. Unleashing the, the beast. Swamp. Now we just Vindicate. Vindicate. You port the other one. God, you love it. Everything you ever wanted a cube draft. Just killing your opponent's lands. Porting your opponent's lands. Oh, it's great. Shield Breaker going all the way. No! All right, whatever. Let's cast Nahiri. Fine. Fine. You forced my hand. I'll have to cast Nahiri, I guess. Cease it again. Thank you. All right. Here it is. Untap and <laughs> sure. Lightning helix. Oh my god. Actually, I should um leave the port up. So if I draw a land, I'm gonna loot the helix away. I think. I think drawing a land is better than anything else. So looting, sure. Third five. I don't have the burn spells in my deck. There's no reason to keep a helix. I don't think. All right, they're gonna fetch in their main, get a swamp. Blood Tithe Harvester. All right, now I want the Helix back, but sure. And a mountain. All right, untap and draw a planes. Let's discard the planes. And draw swamp, all right. Only red source here, what's actually looting? Somebody's playing a Franco. 
on me. All right. Let's uh, let's silent clearing. All right. This is this is an actual joke. Uh, what's going on here? That was like nine lands in a row. Uh, all right. Sub warrior resub. Thanks so much. I mean, obviously, we can just Nahiri the Harvester, or we can just, like, keep Nahiriing or whatever. It's not that bad, but... Alright. Uh... Okay. They didn't loot in response. That's something, I guess. Alright. They attack Nahiri. Nahiri goes to five. Uh, we untap and draw a... <laughs> Was that six lands in a row? Um, let's. Let's uh, let's flashback looting, I guess. And decide if we're gonna minus or plus Nahiri. I wanna keep port available too, so. Flashback looting. We draw a land, land, I'm out of here. All right, where are my Shuffler Truthers at? I'm about to change sides. I'm about to be a Shuffler Truther also. What the hell is going on? Um, how many lands could possibly have left in our deck, right? Like, all right, let's discard two, I guess. Um, I guess we're gonna do we plus or minus Nahiri. If I minus it, it's like a decent chance Nahiri dies. This is ridiculous. I don't know what to do. We just, drew, we just drew like literally eight lands in a row, right? Three, six, seven, eight. There can't be many lands left in the deck, so. All right, I'm gonna minus. We'll fetch and port. So we're at, this is a three. We're gonna say go. We're gonna uh, port the swamp again. Cannot believe what happened. All right. I mean, we get to we get to get a land count too with the, with the fetch land too. I want a land count. Workshop. Working on it. If we lose the Emmercool game where they like they had zero permanence. Alright, we actually have. We have literal three lands left in our deck. Like actual actual three lands, like you know, 18 spells. So draw a land hundred percent next turn. Here it comes. Here comes the land. Waka, waka. What is going on? There's there's now there's two lands left. If this is a land, I might just call it for the year. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, very funny. All right. Um, we can just hard cast Archon if we draw it. Uh, I guess I'd rather have a Signet in play than a... I'm going to hold the line on my hand, but... All right, I guess we'll just port them again. <laughs> Nahiri is obviously counting up to Emrakul again, so... I got off on technicality, yeah, right? Yeah, we're getting Jared Betchard right now. That's what's happening. A little Betcher action. All right, you're up. If we lose this game, I will be sad. Um, Blood Grip tapped. They're also in like care, ca cast mere battle sphere range too. So, mind twist. All right, that was pretty good at least. All right, let's uh, let's discard our Badlands and draw Shallow Grave. Hold on. I've got an Emberth Shieldbreaker in the graveyard. So. Not casting that one. All right, so twist you for I'll do it for four, I guess, on as well, right? Twist ya. Battle sphere, Ulamog, Duretti. Okay. So yeah, they they were they were very close to casting Battle Sphere. 
Shallow Grave Exiles. Oh, we, we exiled our Emrakul? Okay, sure. Uh, and we still have the other ones too, so. Uh, Alright, so. Say go. We are two turns from Nahiri Ultimate for Blightsteel or Archon. Both win the game. We can just cast Archon, three, four, five, six, seven, or just or Shallow Grave if we draw Archon. Blightsteel, not a good draw because we can't uh, do that one. It's actually unreal. I think we're actually at zero lands now, right? Now we have, we have zero lands and 15 spells left, I think. If you're prepared against your own teammate, uh, we decided that you, you can concede if you want to. Uh, we decided if you, if you want to concede, you can. Alright, so... We're, like, in pretty good shape here. Because we have Vamp. We have Nahiri ultimating. We also have Vamp. I guess, like, we can't Vamp for any one card to go to Shallow Grave. But 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Here's the blood discard in the Lich. It's a good thing this isn't Creature or Planeswalker. Right? Burst Lightning for one. Alright, sure. Now I just vamp for uh for Archon. And we just discard Archon, Shallow Grave it. So. Is that allowed by Magic, on Magic Online? I don't know. Why not? Like win trading and just don't want to play against teammates you know you can see to match whenever you want to we're not like like win trading is like trying to you know enter cues over and over and over and over again so one out round two we have land land i mean duress and answers was pretty good we'll keep this we're on the draw again unfortunately but i'm oh, sorry on the play no we're on the draw I I I mean stop right. All right, so botanical sanctum, soul ring. So mana crypt and soul ring so far against our powerless deck. Sure, whatever, it's fine. All right, we duress, and we see Karn Tracker Battle Sphere Land Elves. That's a really really good soul ring. Man, turn two Tracker with a clue. Do I have to grief here? Losing the Night Whisper is really bad. I can't heal because I have Swamp too. I screwed up. I should have fetched a, a bad lens. I, I, that was a mistake. I screwed up. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Okay. Um. Let's see. We got to keep Night Whisper, I think. If we grief, then we have actual nothing left. Uh, we have a Helix, an Emrakul, and some lands. Um, we can beat. This is this is fine. I'm just like, yeah. We can hard cast creep before they can cast Battle Sphere, most likely. So, here's Tracker. Here's Land. Yeah, pretty brutal. All right. Um, can you grief yourself? Oh, I want to give myself grief. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna whisper here. Let's get Badlands. Cast Whisper. Draw Loran and Looting. That's actually pretty good. Uh, because Loran can kill Soul Ring, which is a double stone rain. Probably need to kill the uh, Helix first, though. Tolarian Academy! <laughs> Talk about your all time Nutra. What is this? Three, four, five, six, seven. You just cast Battle Sphere on turn three. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Alright. Uh now it's balance or bust. So. <laughs> turn one land soul ring. Turn two tracker elf. Turn three academy battle sphere. On the play, no less. We draw Archon of Cruelty. Um. I mean we have to draw balance, we lose. We can like Loran Battle Sphere and like buy it maybe a turn. Uh but The problem is balance we just lose our entire hand too, so. Uh alright. 
We Tyler Schrager is the best card I've printed. They have so many. They have like Academy clues now too, because they have like a thousand mana for Academy. We could lure in Battle Sphere and just like try and buy a turn. Um, seven. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have thirteen damage next turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Loran buy a turn and then yeah pretty disgusting turn three what's the radio I just you know lo-fi whatever Christmas music on YouTube it's funny that like even if we draw Shallow Grave, Shallow Grave Archon's not even close to good enough here. All right, let's Loran. Let's kill Battle Sphere. And I was pumped to kill the Soul Ring too. All right, say go. If Loran lives, it's another look for balance. But then if I balance, I have a creature in play. So like, we probably should not block with it, honestly. Otherwise, I keep Tracker. They're tapping eight, and they're mind slavering me. All right, whatever, fine, you win. Okay, I I give up. That was the most power. That was one of the best non-power hands I've ever seen. I guess I guess Soul Ring is power basically. Soul Ring's, I think Soul Ring's better than most power cards anyway. But that was something else. If we were on the play of that game, uh, I think we might have been okay. But I can't be turn three battle sphere turn two mind slaver turn four mind slaver on the or turn three battle sphere turn four mind slaver on the uh, on the thing there. So all right, they are uh, they are a blue green rampy deck. We're gonna want uh, probably tide hollow sculler and dire. F I mean I mean, uh, I mean uh, shield breaker. Yeah, soul ring is like the the one of the best if not the best card. Got the inspector. And Loran Vindicate Balance. Um, honestly, our top's like pretty bad. We have like no shuffle effects at all. Yeah, good top. All right, this is fine. I think we're in like okay shape too. Like our deck is pretty, you know, broken. And like that was like. I mean that that was like the literal ceiling of what they're capable of probably all right uh, we're gonna keep and not be thrilled about it but all matters can play steel i don't think so but i'm all to five i feel literal zero sympathy <laughs> like the i the tiniest amount of sympathy it's it's probably lower than zero. Alright, um let's go courtyard go. Your boys, what's up? Appreciate it. Thanks for your sub. Forest, nothing. Like no land or all, no soul ring. A little bit different. Draw a mountain. Alright. They were in a way to turn, and probably cast looting on turn three. Have a shot to draw a shallow grave. Gruel signet, a little more fair. A little more fair. Untap and draw Karn Scion of Urza. It's really, really fair, but sure. Uh, all right. I guess we're gonna looting and just go for it. Here we go. Shallow grave, one time, please. Just a signet. Just a signet. Uh, we'll discard Blight Steel. And I think a land, honestly. Play Signet. We have Karn next turn. Karn or Hardcast Grief. Get a Hardcast Grief, probably, yeah. Both of our hands this game are pretty bad. Hopefully, theirs are worse. So, drawing Shallow Grave. We still have, you know, Shallow Grave Ember Cool. 
flashback looting, so keep that looting in there probably. Arbor Elf. Go. Land. Right. I mean, let's see what's going on in there. Play it the old fashioned way. Their hand is Channel, Nissa, Time Warp, Gargaroth. Channel's funny because, like, if they draw Ember, cool, Channel is good. If they don't, it's terrible. Um, Gargaroth's pretty good also. Nissa's, like, it's, it's good, but it is pretty good with Time Warp. A lot of fives. A lot of fives. It's Gargaroth or Nyssa. Um, they draw land to cast either anyway. I have Karn next turn. Unfortunately, my hand is like not very good, so... Grief can attack Nyssa. Play, go to six, attack it. Goes to four. Eh, it's still pretty hard to kill. One artifact in play. Nissa cast Time Warp too. Will they draw the land? I'm gonna take Nissa, I think. This is a higher upside card, so play the silent clearing and just say go. Yeah. No land, no big Koas card, please. Shit. Oh my god. Everybody, let's use day if we can. Car and liberated. All right. I mean, that is good. Exile a card from my hand. Sure. It's not like the end of the world. Uh, untap. Draw. Badlands. The question is, do we? Because now they have like nothing, right? I mean, that's if they draw land. They have a uh, our Gargaroth, but. I could go Karn make a token and try and pressure Karn. Emrakul's already lethal. We can looting look for Shallow Grave, but like if we miss, it's pretty bad. And I kind of want to keep the Emrakul in my hands and drawing through the breach or Bamp also. I think we have a turn here. I'm gonna crack the let's start let's crack clearing first. Let's just start there. Let's see what we draw. Duretti. Duretti actually just kills Karn. No, it doesn't. It kills creature. Ah, man, it kills artifact or creature. Ah. I thought it was like, I thought it was like Grist. Alright. Uh, Alright, so we will just play Karn. Make Karn struct. We'll have looting uh, lined up for future. What is this thing? Is that ugly token? Where's the little Karn struct guy? I am Khan. I am Khan. So now they have like, you know, multiple targets for Karn. Yeah, Alright, so they have to ready, sure. Alright. We're drawing it through the breach. We have a looting. Utopia sprawl. Uh why would they tap like that? They just they could have cast their They could have cast Time Warp this turn if they used the, the Signet mana. Oh, then they wouldn't have blue then. Yeah, there was no way to cast the 5-drop here. The problem is now they have Time Warp next turn, so we really got to do something now. <laughs> All right. Untap. This has got to be a big one. Big draw here. We need this. That wasn't actually that bad. Uh, now we can push the Arbor Elf, and they need, to, they need to draw, I guess, any land for Time Warp. Time Warp's still pretty broken, though. I can attack Karn for six. I can still looting. 
The question is, do I want to? Um, do they floated Signet Mana? All right, they could have cast Gargadon. They couldn't could add two blue, but they could have cast Gargadon. Um, all right, let's flashback looting. I think, I think this is the turn. All right, big one here, folks. This is a big one. Flashback looting. Balance. Emberth Shieldbreaker. Shieldbreaker is pretty good here. All right, we're going to just go fair, I think. I think we're going to Shieldbreaker and and Fatal Push and just try and win a fair game, make a card instruct. So we're going to ship Embercool and we're going to ship Balance and try and play a fair game. Discard these two. Shuffle those back. Make card instruct. Battle display. Fatal push. Attack Karn. Karn goes down to five. We have nine power in play. They're going to five drop, five drop. They're going to go up to nine and play Llanowar Elves. Okay. Is there plans to block and keep Karn alive? Draw Loran of the Third Path. Excellent draw, actually. Top cards. It was Swamp Archon of Cruelty. Um... Yeah, sure. Attack Karn, Loran, the Sprawl, play for Shieldbreaker. Very fair game here, but... Yep, definitely blocking. I agree, these games have been pretty interesting. When your deck is not particularly, like, insanely good, uh, the games do tend to be really interesting. As long as your opponent's deck isn't insane like last game. Like, when your opponent has a hand like last game, it's like, alright, I guess you win, but... Uh, alright, I mean, don't give me a blue Wrath of God, please. Fair Mardu stuff. Forget the broken things. Which card's better? I'll tell you. Pants. Karn's gotta wear pants. Pantsless Karn is no good. Exile. I should have played the card in my hand, I guess. That was stupid. Whatever. It's dead anyway. Alright. Unzap, draw, swamp. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Reveal top two. Plain Signet. All right. I mean, I guess we kill Karn, right? Kill Karn, you, Karn, Karn, you. Barring a Brazen Bar or something like that. Was Karn Shark lethal? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Whatever, my bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm discounted. So yeah, we we had we had uh, I would have pumped both card trucks and won the game, but whatever, we win the game anyway. Doesn't matter. So sure. All right, game three. Um, they have Karn Channel. Maybe we do have the Chupacabra. They've got we've got some stuff. I don't know what I would cut, though. Yes, yeah, fine. We're good. We're good. All right. Could I, I don't think I could have cast Archon, right? All right, we have turn three Mind Twist. The problem is, is that good enough? Uh, it's still Scrappy Crappy a Vintage Cube. It's close. I can't... This, this is like a hand. We're just, they're just going to kill us, but I can't mulligan this hand. We should have turn three Mind Twist. But we're on the draw. I can't mulligan this, though. Right, what, what are we mulliganing to? You know, like, I'm going to keep. They kept seven. We're probably dead, but... Land or Elves. All right. No Soul Ring, at least. There's always that. Grief? Yikes. Let's draw a black card. It's not Mind Twist, obviously. Just any black card. Yeah! 
Reed on the board. That's what I'm talking about. Reed freaking Duke, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what do you got? Turn three here. Green Sun for one. All right. All right. God, killing me. Killing me. They have four cards in hand. Do I have to grief them? Like, they had so many good five drops. If they just play one of them, we just lose. Or passing up. I guess we're passing up turn three mind twist to cast turn three Karn. How's the scoring work? Just trophies. Every number you see there is a trophy. You got a 3 up. You can drop when you've lost a match. You can't drop before playing them. We got a grief. I. I. Ugh. As if they play any of their fives, we're just like dead. Right? Like Nissa or, or, or Gargaroth here. Problem is if they have multiples, then we're also dead. Uh, but. At least we have turn three Karn to have something. Oh, this sucks. I hate this. I feel like if we didn't see Nyssa. Maybe. I don't think there's any answers to Gargaroth either, though. God, this sucks. I couldn't draw any black card. Alright. Oh, I hate it. Here's Grief. Target you. Their hand is Hermit, Leveler, Talarian Academy. Their hand's actually pretty bad. Um, Leveler is pretty far away. Their hand's actually bad. All right, so thank God. Obviously, if they draw Channel or they draw like a Nissa or something like that, we're in trouble. It's funny because like Hermit isn't even that good here, but I kind of have to take it. So, all right. So Hermit's just, like a pretty bad card. It's like not a good card anymore. It's like, you know, a relic of a, a day long past, but... All right, I mean, if they draw out on me, they draw out on me. What am I going to do? They draw five here, we're dead. But they have a land that does not tap for mana. And they have an eight drop. It's not a good sign. Oh, it's Zenith? Oh, Thieving Skydiver? You freaking jerk. Oh, that makes my hands so bad. All right. That makes their Academy on, too? That was gross. All right. Let's draw Lightning Helix. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh God, God, that sucks. All right. Uh, Thieving Skydiver kill it steals artifacts. You kick it, and then it can steal the thing that costs X. I'm gonna kill. Uh, I'm gonna kill an elf here, I guess. I'll kill the arbor elf. Just uh, keep them off his leveler. All right, just say go. Play Karn plus it. Just like soak some damage up and draw some cards. There's your academy. You stole my artifact. Oh, please stop drawing things. Well, they had nothing. That's six. It's me and Karn. Zenith for five. Ugh. That's going to be Gargi. Let's draw Balance. We haven't drawn Balance yet. Balance is pretty good here, right? All right. Take two. Draw... Through the breach. That's not the worst. I'm just gonna play card and bust it. Just gain a bunch of life and draw a card. They might even give us an Emrakul or something like that, so. Top two cards are Signet Land, Tilt. Alright, well, we have big draws here. We're drawing to Archon or Emrakul or uh, the third one, Blightsteel. They had nothing and now we have nothing. Yeah. How are the turntables? All right, so kill Karn, deal three. So we're drawing to three fatties, 
Looting. Balance. I think Vamp is still fine. Don't you freaking... You do Time Warp too? Are you freaking... Are you kidding me? Are this... This... Somebody's playing a prank on me. Are you serious? You look up runner, runner, runner in the dictionary, and uh, this is what you get. Come on! This is ridiculous. Six. Hapon hates charity. Ugh. Blight steals now. Yeah, Blight doesn't do anything anymore. Come on. Now what? All right, draw, mountain. All right, whatever. Give me a little scoop. That was, this is a pretty frustrating match, not gonna lie. Just resolves instantly. All right, yeah, you got me. All right, yep. That sucks pretty bad, honestly. Um, our deck wasn't great, but it had a good chance to win some games for sure. Top card is Signet, Mountain, Fatal Push, to ready. Tilt, all right, well, you two folks, I love you. That's draft one of, of, of Q for Charity. Look for it on uh, on Twitch all nonstop until the 28th at 11 p.m. That's, that's the end time, all right? So I'm, I'll put, put this video up uh, later today a little bit so you'll see, able to see it. And then, of course, look for various drafts over the course of the next uh, next few weeks. Uh, definitely first and last draft. I'll, probably, I'll record, record a few others as well. All right, peace, YouTube. Have fun.